They can't even make it against the law to witness from door to door. They can stop us from preaching under tents in the park. We'll never, never take Jesus. believe that tonight. Thank God. That's one thing. Man, you know, man thinks they can do all things now, don't they? Amen. They, they think they invent life now. And think they doing all this cloning and making humans and animals. But I mean, know there's one thing they can't never do. They can't separate us from God, can they? Amen. Don't you love the Lord tonight? How many is excited about camp meeting tonight? Amen. I tell you, I'm excited about what the Lord's are doing. We just come with a great anticipation to see God do something and see the Lord just open up His glory. I need just a little bit on the monitor, brother, if you don't mind. Just my throat, I've got still some gears. I need some, need some reinforcement. That's good, brother. That's plenty right there. If y'all get, if I get too loud, y'all just... Turn around and look me at Brother Terry tonight. Thank God. <laughs> Hallelujah. But I, I just appreciate the Lord, don't you? Thank God. I tell you, I'm, I, I'm happy about what God's are doing, aren't you? How many is excited about what the Lord's are doing? He's doing great things to those that will let him. He, he's doing great things to those that are hungry tonight. Amen? Thank God. And we just uh, uh, all enthused about... So this camp meeting, and we just come out of 
revival over at Sister Blayton's church uh, last night. And we just had a great time in the Lord all last week and since last Friday night. We just seemed like the heaven just opened and the glory of the Lord came down. And we just had ourselves a good time over on Mulberry Hill, I guess is what, Mulberry Church. Praise the Lord. And I tell you, we just left over there just rejoicing and exceedingly glad. Amen. You know, that's all God's wanting to do for his people. You know, God, all God wants to do is just bless us. All God wants to do is just give us his great gifts, brother. Simmons, that's all God is wanting to give us uh, his greatness of his glory tonight. Amen. You know what? God can't do a thing till we reach out and receive it. Amen. How many know tonight, if somebody wants to give you something, oh, they, they can offer it to you, but in order for you to receive it, you've got to reach out there and get a hold of it. Hallelujah. How many know what I'm talking about tonight? And I believe that's where God's people are, Brother Gary. I believe we're right now in the position that the Lord is standing before his people. Them, now I'm talking about them that are desperate. I'm talking about them that them that's done purpose to heart, Brother Haney. They ain't going to let go. They're not going to give up. They're not going to look to the left nor look to the right. But thank God they done got a made-up mind. They done got a purpose in their heart. Hallelujah. They're not going to quit till they enter in and receive what God's got for them. Glory to God. And them's the ones that God's going to open up his riches and his glory. God's going to open up his marvels to them. God's going to open up the mysteries to them. Amen. Can somebody say amen? Them the ones that's going to step into that glory. Hallelujah. Them the ones that's going to walk in. Hallelujah. That high height and deeper depth. How many believe tonight there's something happening in a spiritual realm? There's something happening tonight, Brother Haney, in the spiritual aspect. Hallelujah. I come down the road today. Coming down to Brother Haney's. Now this felt, I, I just, I knew where I was going. I was looking at things, uh, but it didn't even seem like I was there. Hallelujah. I said, my God, I wonder how it felt, uh, praise God, uh, to walk uh, the men of old, uh, how they walked in that Shekinah. Oh, glory to God. Amen. I, I believe God's going to do something in these last days that we're going to walk in. Amen. How many want to walk in a spiritual realm? Amen. Thank God. God's going to have some extremists in this hour. God's going to have some people that's going to go beyond the limits to receive what God's got for them. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. How many want to go beyond the limit tonight? I want to be an extremist for Jesus. I want to, I want to be an extremist for him. Amen. Folks criticize you. They think you go to the extreme. Well, I, that ain't enough for me. I want to go beyond the extreme tonight. Glory to God. I believe every man of God in the Bible went beyond the extreme. Amen. Jesus went beyond the extreme. Amen. Hallelujah. Look what they accomplished. Thank God they didn't, they didn't lose. They didn't give up, but they accomplished what he had for them. Amen. Don't you appreciate him now? Thank God. I tell you, I appreciate the Lord. How many come tonight to receive something? Amen. I did. I come to receive what God's got for them. Don't you? Let's just lift your hands one more time and praise the Lord. Thank God. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. We want to say we're so happy to be back with you this year in this great camp meeting, the Bible. And we didn't really, uh, when we started out this way, we had even forgot about the camp meeting. And we didn't even, we, we left the revival down in Dothan, Alabama, and camp revival, and came over to Batesville, over at Brother Harris's church. And it dawned on me and my wife while we was over there. And we said, well, Lord, we got up here. About the, in the, about the time of the camp meeting. I didn't remember exactly when it started. And so God just worked it out that he kept us up here that we could be in this camp meeting this year. Thank God. I was going to leave Batesville and return back to Georgia. I had to put the tent back up over in Georgia or either in Florida, but I left my equipment down in South Alabama sitting down yonder in the, in the Abbeville area out in the country down there. But, amen. And, and the Lord just got us we're tied up out here in Mississippi. I'm glad he did. Amen. I like his Mississippi people. Thank God. Amen. I tell you, I, I just thank God for what he's been doing. And we had a good time over in Batesville. 
lived there with that old sister Blakey's church and those folks over there just treated us like family and, and hey man just loved us and shouted us and preached us and hey man <laughs> I mean no thank God that's what it's all about and hallelujah we're just glad to be here tonight and be a part of this camp meeting revival and thank God we ask you tonight to reach out with us how many want to how many want to receive something tonight hey man I told brother Haney today I said, man, I'm about preached out. I feel like I need to be preached to a while. Thank God. We, we ain't stopped now in about two weeks. And, well, actually, it's been close to a month. We ain't been out of meeting about two or three nights in a month. And, you know, your body gets worn down a little bit, you know. And, and, thank God. You preach and preach and preach. And there has been several of these nights. I've just walked out not knowing what I was going to do, just depending on the Lord. Amen. Depending on the Holy Ghost. And, hallelujah. And I don't... Uh, you know when you do that, buddy, you gotta you gotta believe and stand on God's word, ain't you? Ain't God, and He never lets you down, does He? Hey, man, but I, I do want to preach to you tonight something the Lord had laid in my heart, and and I believe we'll open our hearts tonight. You know, I really know the Lord will uplift us, and give us that that we need in our life tonight. And I know there's a lot of great ministers here. I, I feel unworthy to minister, but the minister that's here tonight, I I, I feel like. The, I had to get in line with them. I have to sit down on, on the back seat. But uh, I'd a whole lot rather some of them to minister. But Brother Haney had asked me to preach tonight. And hallelujah. And I, y'all just bear with me and help me preach. Praise the Lord. Thank God. Amen. I know the Lord will anoint and bring forth his word. Thank God. Thank you, Jesus. But tonight, if you have your Bibles, I would like to go in to the word of God in the book of Genesis. Amen. In chapter 26. Thank you, Lord. I, I love the Word of God. How many love the Word tonight? Amen. I tell you, the, I, I'd rather be on the Word of God than heaven and earth. The Bible says that heaven and earth going to pass away. The Word of God going to bide forever. Amen. Thank God. But I, I know it's, a, it's just God's Word tonight. It's real. Genesis chapter 26. And verse 1, And there was a famine in the land beside the first famine that was in the days of Abraham. And Isaac went unto Abimelech, king of the Philistines, unto Gerar. And the Lord appeared unto him and said, Go not down into Egypt. Dwell in the land which I shall tell thee of. I mean, no, like Brother Haney, I believe it was, Paul ago said, or Sister Blake, and one of them said, this ain't no time to go down to Egypt. Hallelujah. Ain't nothing in Egypt, folks. A lot of folks just went back into Egypt, had I mean, no, we, this ain't no time to go back down to the onions and garlic. Thank God. But listen, let me read on. Sojourneth in this land, and I will be with thee, and will bless thee, for unto thee and unto thy seed I will give all these countries and I will perform the oath which I swear unto Abraham thy father. But buddy, that's a promise. He didn't say he's going to give him no acres and pieces of ground. He's going to give him countries. Hallelujah. He didn't say he's going to give him counties and and states, praise God, he's going to have countries. Glory to God. How I many know oh God's going to give us countries to preach the gospel to? Thank God. But let me read on. That ain't what I want to preach on. If I don't read on, I get hung up on something else here. But, and I will make thy seed to multiply as the stars of heaven and will give to thy seed all these countries. And in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed. Because that Abraham obeyed my voice and kept my charge, my commandments, my statutes, and my laws. Let me know it's important to be obedient to God. And Isaac dwelt in Gerar. Let's jump on down here now to the 12th verse. Then Isaac sold in that land and received in the same year an 
hundredfold. And the Lord blessed him. And the man waxed great and went forward. How, how, how many believe some, in these last days we're going to wax great? I believe that today. God is going to have a people that's going to go forward. God's going to have a people that's going to increase. God's going to have a people that's going to prosper. Hallelujah. Let me read on. Thank God. I want to get something out of here tonight. It's hard me to, I'm burning my brakes up. I'm trying to, listen. Hallelujah. And the man waxed great and went forward and grew until he became very great. For he had possessions of flocks in possession of herds and great store of server. Getting right back, what Brother Haney said, well, he had a bunch of cattle too. Hallelujah. And great store of servants and, but listen, it, oh, this is it right here. And the devil, uh, uh, the Philistines envied him. I mean, no, tonight we got the devil puffed up. I believe tonight the devil's puffed up. It never fails. It never, it never does fail. Any time that you take a step to God, any time you take a, a step forward, any time you purpose in your heart, any time you obey God, you better look out. The devil's going to get mad. The devil's going to envy you. I believe the devil's envying the people, even like he did Isaac. The devil, he don't want us to have nothing, not only in the natural, but most of all in the spirit. That's what I'm preaching about. He don't want us to have what God's got for us. He don't want us to receive this latter rain, this fullness. But how many know tonight God is going to bring forth a people? Oh, my God. Now, now, just look over to your neighbor right now and say, look, neighbor. Say, take your foot off the brakes tonight. Hallelujah. Say, go ahead and unbuckle your seatbelt. It's all right. Hallelujah. We're going somewhere tonight. Can somebody say amen? Woo! Take it out of park tonight and put it down and drive. Hallelujah. And let's go somewhere in the Holy Ghost. God, God's going to have a blessed people. Glory. Oh, God, I feel something special about this camp meeting already. I feel a witness. I feel, I, I feel that blessing. I feel the miracles already. I feel the salvation already. I feel deliverance already. Hallelujah. The devil might as well be envious because we're going to give him something to envy us about tonight. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Let me read on. Can I read on? I ain't finished reading yet. Thank God. Listen. Let me read on over here just a few more scriptures. Hallelujah. Listen what he done. For all the whales which his father servants had digged in the days of Abraham, his father, the Philistines had stopped them. Ooh. And filled them with earth. And we know tonight the devil would like to stop up our whales tonight. How <laughs> many know what that whale represents tonight? Ooh. Hallelujah, oh, Abraham's servants uh, went over there, Brother Simmons, and uh, in the land uh, where he dwelt uh, and dug him some wells. Uh, hallelujah, how many know that not water is precious? Uh, water, uh, hallelujah, is an urgent resource. Uh, water is tonight, it's something we cannot do without. Uh, we don't realize uh, 
the importance of water till we ain't got it. And believe me, I know the feeling. I live in a travel trailer. Hallelujah. I cherish water. I don't waste water. Hallelujah. I've took a bath in a glass full of water. Hallelujah. I've took a mini bath with a wet wash rag. Hallelujah. But you know what? That's what the devil, the devil's tried to do. And the devil would like to do to God's people. But you know what? Hallelujah. The devil, he's stopping up wells. Amen. Let me read on. I ain't finished yet. Thank God I want to preach. Listen. Thank God. And Isaac. No, wait a minute. Come on. And Abimelech said unto Isaac, Go from us. Thank you, Sister Blake. Now, I, I thought I heard an echo or ricochet there. Hallelujah. I thought I heard the voice of the Lord speaking to me. Praise God. Hallelujah. Well, somebody say amen. For thou art much mightier than we. And Isaac departed. You know what they done? They run him off. Told him to get away from him because they envied him. They got jealous of him. He sent the devil out to stop up his wells. He said, we're going to run this man out of territory. You know, I heard old tales. People back in the old days, y'all might remember, if, if, if the neighbors got mad at you back in the old days, they'd drop a dead dog down your well. Hallelujah. He'd put a dead cat or, or pour something down your well to mess up your water. Hallelujah. Well, that's what the devil desires to do to a people. I've seen a people let the devil stop up the wells, stop up the living water. Hallelujah. Thank God. How many know tonight? It ain't no time to let the devil stop up our well. God's got a well for us. God's got a well tonight. Oh, glory to God. Let me read on. I want to read some more. Thank God I want to preach too, but listen. Hallelujah. When Isaac departed thence, he left. He said, praise God, that's what they want, I'll leave. And pitched his tent in the valley of Jerar. And dwelt there. But listen, oh, this is this is it right here. This is where we're going tonight. Oh, I, I, I wish I'd have went out there and got me a pig tonight before I come to church or a shovel. Thank God. Hallelujah. Because listen, this is what we're going to do tonight. Hallelujah. This is what I want to do tonight in the Holy Ghost. Thank God the devil has run people out. The devil's filled up folks as well. They fill them up with the earth, the world. What is the earth, the world? The world will stop up your source. The world will stop up your source. The world, the earth will stop up your supply line. Hallelujah. But listen, that didn't stop a wise. No, eyes was the son of Abraham. Woo! He remembered what God told Abraham. He remembered the oath. He remembered the promise. He remembered what God told him and what he was going to do to his seed and to the generations. Hallelujah. And God done told Isaac. He said, if you'll do what I told your father, I'll bless your seed. I'll bless your family. Hallelujah. I'm going to give you countries. Oh. Amen. It said here, and Isaac digged again the wells of water. Hallelujah. Which they had digged in the days of Abraham, his father. For the Philistines had stopped them after the death of Abraham. And he called their names after the names by which his father had called him. And Isaac, servants dig in the valley and found there a well of springing 100% patatarabo kusaya, springing water. Hallelujah. Let me tell you tonight, church, 
If I can preach a message or not, I guess I'll call it. It's time to dig again. The wells of water. Hallelujah. How many know we're in an hour that the devil's come in, Brother Simmons? We see every direction where the devil stopped up people's wells. People's like Brother Haney said tonight, they've got out from under the blessing. They've lost their blessing. They've lost. Hallelujah. But how many know it ain't no time to quit? It's time to dig again. It's time to go back like Isaac did. Isaac went back and he dug another well. He dug again till he hit spring and water. Oh, glory. How many believe it tonight? Amen. There are a significance. Close enough. In water. In the Word of God. They are a great, they, they, are, a, they are a great uh, meaning in the water, in the Word of God. It's something about water. Something about water. Water. Water is something unusual. Hey Amen. Even, even the, the, the water, even, even the, uh, uh, Christ, uh, even John the Baptist, even the baptism by water. You know, a Nicodemus come to Jesus and said, you know, uh, what must I do? He said, you must be born again. Hallelujah. He said, how can I go back to my mother a second time and be born again? And Jesus said, that is born of flesh, is of flesh, but that is born of the water and of the spirit. He said, that is born of the spirit, the spirit. He said, marvel not when I say he must be born of the water and of the spirit. Hallelujah. There's something about water tonight. Even a baby, before the baby's born, in its mother's womb, they tell me it's in there floating around in a bottle, in a bag of water. Hallelujah. How many know tonight? God is talking about that living water. That living water. Hallelujah. And the devil has cut people off. But it's time. God's going to house some people. It's going to dig again them wells. Let me know the devil stop. I've had a few wells stopped. I've had the devil to stop my wells up. Amen. He better believe he has. But thank God when I realized I was running out getting dry, Brother Gary, getting thirsty, I realized I had to dig me another well. Woo! Hallelujah! Praise God tonight, church. If you're running out of water, don't perish away. Don't wither away. Just move right over. You know where he done it? He didn't dig it on the mountaintop. He dug it in the valley. He went in the valley of Jerah and dug again a well. And the Bible said there came forth spring in water. Water! Hallelujah! I believe we're in the hour. God's people is going to hit artesians in the Holy Ghost. Amen. How many believe it tonight? Oh, yes. A woman come to Jesus down in the fourth chapter of John. He, she's a part of Jacob's well, dragging her. Jesus came up and said, Woman, I sure am thirsty. Give me a drink. She turned around and said, Hey, what do you mean? That's good. I said, thou. You being a Jew and me a Samaritan. Now ask if we give you a drink. No, we don't have no dealings with you. What enough. Can't drink the same well y'all drink. I'm going to tell you something. We all going to drink of this same water. Ain't I? Woo! Amen. We're all born of the same spirit. Amen. I preached a little bit on that blood the other night. How, the, how did the blood, how that blood, what the emphasis of the blood and what the represent, what the blood does. Amen. I, God's given me something in that blood. I ain't preach it like I want to. But praise God. Scientists and, 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 and all the inventors and the great uh, philosophers and doctors, they still haven't figured out to this day about the blood. The blood is something, hallelujah, that they can't understand completely. Something that you can take out of my body, me being a white man, and put it in a black man's body, and him still live. How the life, the life is in the blood. Hallelujah. The blood's the carrier. The blood's the carrier of the life. You take blood out of your body, you ain't got no life. 
Amen. I mean, no, tonight we're going to drink of that same water. Amen. Uh, we, we are born of that same spirit. We're born of his bone, flesh of his flesh, uh, spirit of his spirit. Uh, hallelujah. I mean, you know, tonight uh, it's time, thank God, like that woman, uh, he told, he said, uh, he said, woman, if I knew it's the gift of God, and who it was, it me. And him that asked of me, give me the drink. You'd ask me to give me a drink. Hallelujah. And he said, then it would flow out of your bellies living waters. Woo, glory to God. She said, but look, here's Jacob's well. Said the fathers of old drank of this water. Jesus said, yeah. And them that drank of this water, they all died. Thank God. He said, they all did. He said, but if you drink of this water, I'll tell you all, you'll never die because it shall flow out of thy bellies as rivers of living water. Hallelujah. How many want to dig a well tonight? Hallelujah. I believe God's got wells. He's got wells out there. And the devil, you better believe the devil don't like it. Man, he slip out there where put anything in it. Try to cut you off. Amen. Let me know what I'm preaching about tonight. No eyes. He didn't worry about him. He went up there and seen all Abraham's well stopped up that his father's servant dug. Man, he didn't. He didn't get discouraged and run home. Hallelujah. He didn't call the county or the city and say, "Run me a water meter out here." Amen. He, the Bible says he just went right back down in the valley of Jerusalem and dug again the wells. Dug again the well. He got to getting so many good wells, he started putting names on them. Woo! Hallelujah. I mean, he started putting names on them. Hallelujah. He began to name them and began to call, call them what happened to them. And the servants drew, uh, uh, strove with him. And uh, how did uh, God begin to bless him? Uh, hallelujah. You know what? Over in the over on in Genesis 26 uh, and chapter 27, it wasn't long till uh, Abimelech looked over the hill uh, and saw Isaac down there in the valley. I believe he saw whales uh, that had so much water in them. Uh, they were shooting up out of the ground. Uh, hallelujah. And he looked down there and saw uh, that man of God uh, having that living water and running water. Hallelujah. He had running water. They were probably carrying their water in buckets. Little eyes had so much water force coming out of his well. He probably had a pipeline running to his tent. Thank God. He probably done figured out how to put a spout on it. Hallelujah. The Bible says that Bimelech went back down to it. Hallelujah. Begin to reason with him. He's, he'd, seen, he'd seen no matter what they'd done to Isaac, God was going to bless him. He went back down there to him with a hand. He tried to begin to make things right. Hallelujah. Do you know what old Isaac done? The Bible says Isaac, he, he fixed him a feast, man. He, he went out there and cooked him a meal. Got him, got him a table prepared. He, you know, a lot of, he, probably his servants, it's about the over there, the servants got upset with Isaac because he received them in. Because they done run them out, see. But no, Isaac brought them in there and fed them. He let them taste for that water. He probably give them two or three jugs to take back home with him. Hallelujah. And let them know what that living water was. Hallelujah. But how many know tonight, church, uh, it's time to dig again. It's time. There's water down there. There's water down there, Sister Blakeney. God's looking for some well diggers tonight. Can somebody say amen? Hallelujah. I tell you tonight, church, the devil, the devil envies us. The devil tries to stop us. But how many know he can't stop us? He didn't stop it. He didn't stop it in the days of Moses. He didn't stop it in the days of Jesus. He tried, but he couldn't. God, God's got an everlasting flow. He's got a flow tonight. God's got a river. Oh, hallelujah. I remember when I bought where I live, the place where I live. Back in 87, 
Me and my wife, we felt that need. The Lord gave me on our hearts that we needed us a piece of ground to come into when we get in from revivals. I lived for years next to my had a place beside my mom and daddy's. Fourteen years, I live out of a travel trailer. I just back in there and hook up. And when the Holy Ghost said go, I just unhooked everything, took off. Didn't want no home. I didn't need no home. I didn't need nothing. I said I don't. I don't need nothing. I had a home. What would it do me? What, what good? Would, which I mean, you know, ain't nothing wrong with having a home. God wanted me to have a good home. God might give me a new home one of these days. I might dig one of them deep ones one of these days. Dig one of them good wheels. Find me a home down there somewhere. Home come flowing out that way. But Lord worked it out, and we lived in a travel trailer four years after we were married. And we began to feel the urgency and the need of having a spot of ground of our own, Brother Gary. We went up to the north end of the county where we lived in Hall County, northeast Georgia. I found some land, three acres of land, and had a nice shop on it and an old trailer. But it rebuilt it, redone the old mobile home. And my, and you know, I got talking to him about the price, and it was real reasonable in that part of the country. And anyway, me and the man were down there talking one day, and I tried to drew him down and he says uh, oh there's one other thing I need to tell you he says this whale on this place ain't too good so I just give him another opportunity to bring him on down on the price hallelujah but you know what I, I didn't realize it'd been better to have a good whale and him kept the price hey, amen I didn't pay him no mind I, I, see I, I ain't never been much of a whale man Hallelujah. We never had no whales. When I grew up, Daddy always lived close enough to the water thicket. Amen. Hallelujah. We lived in the house with no hot water, no bathroom. But I remember Mama having to boil our water and pour it in the tub. Thank God to give us baths. And all of us took baths in the same water. Hallelujah. Ain't no, y'all don't look at me like that. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Hallelujah. Boy, in the wintertime, it didn't take long. Get clean in a hurry. Thank God. Hallelujah. Well, I went ahead and took that place. And me and my wife we moved up there in it. And I, I was working a job that time right long in, and I was getting up 3 o'clock in the morning, getting ready to go to work 3 o'clock in the morning. Boy, I, I'd run down that hall and jump in that shire, man. I, I remember one morning I was in that thing. I, I forgot all about him telling me about that whale being, being shallow. That well not having much water. And man, I got the shampoo out, and I had foam, sud, floating bubbles rolling up in there, man. I soaked up from head to toe, brother Kerry. Hallelujah. I'd have to wipe the suds out of my eye and see what's going on. And about that time, about that time, I started to wrench off that spigot. But it just started blowing up. I hollered, Ellen! There I was, needing to go to work and standing there. 3 15 in the morning, suds all over me. Well, no water. I jumped out and run, got a towel wrapped around me. Everyone lived out in the country, you know, nobody ain't got no neighbors. I took off down across the yard with a towel around me, 3 15 in the morning, with a jug of water. I opened the well and primed it up, and I heard it kick in. I heard it down, I go, trying to suck that water up out holes, and I heard it catch on. I run back in the house. And no, I, when I got back on it, it was working. About the time I got it, it stood, it quit again. <laughs> oh God, I ran off for the rest I could with the rest of that guy on the water and went on to work. Thank God. Next few mornings, the same thing happened again. Next few mornings, the same thing happened again. I told my wife, I said, this is it. We got to have a well. I said, I didn't know this well was that bad. I said, that well ain't nothing. We can't even run no water. Hallelujah. I called me a well digger. I said, man, I need a well. I said, what you charge me to dig me a well? He said, $800 if I do good. I said, bring it on. My God, I'll borrow the money. I got a house of water. I got to have a bath. I got to have drinking water. Hallelujah. How many know it's important tonight to be washed with the washing of the water of the word and clean ghost. Hallelujah. Amen. He came up there and dug me a well. While he was digging that well, I got to talk to him about Jesus. 
Amen. Every time he'd go a foot down, I'd talk about the Lord. Hallelujah. And a little bit, he got way on down there, and he got to, he got to watching that dirt. Hallelujah. He'd reach down there and pick up that dirt, he'd feel like it. He'd say, no, not yet, boys. Not yet. Go on down. He'd do like it. You couldn't talk to everything so loud. He'd just, he'd just say, go on down. And he'd go on down a little bit and pick that thing up and dirt. He, he'd go on and feel that dirt. He'd say, oh, we're getting close now. Hallelujah. He'd say, uh-uh, go on down. A little bit, they'd pull that big old thing out of the ground and turn it loose and walk mud and water begin to slosh. He said, hey, hey that's it, that's, that's it. Drop the pipe. He started dropping the pipe and well, one after another. He lined that thing up. He come on out of the top of the ground with it. Then a little bit, he cut. He said, cut everything off. They cut the machines off. He stood there. He said, they all be real quiet for a few minutes. We stand up, Brother Haney. You could hear little trinkles in that, in that Water running just a little bit, you know, like little little trinkles or something. In it. He said, uh, he said, y'all just hold it just a minute. And about, I guess in about five, maybe six, seven, eight minutes, they something turned loose in that well. They something let go. It sounded like a dam busted, and it sounded like a it sounded like a a, a, a flood that broke loose in that well. He looked at me and smiled. He said, "That's what I've been waiting to hear." Hallelujah! You know why? He was a well digger. He was experienced. He know what it took to hit water. Hallelujah! And I looked down that well and I saw the water coming up. Hallelujah! And when he got done, he knocked off a hundred dollars. Hallelujah! Hey Amen. Let me know tonight. God's got wells out there. We got to dig them. Hey Amen. We got to work. We got to work in the vineyard. We got to work while it's day. Hey Amen, church. I mean, oh, the devil. Yeah, he stopped up a many person's way. He shut them down, Brother Gary. But you know what? He, they, he wouldn't shut them down if they just went right on over, Sister Dottie, and dug another well. That's all it took. Hey, man. I said, man, eyes didn't quit. He just went right on over on in the back and started digging him wells again. Hey, man. Hallelujah. But tonight, it's time to dig again the wells. Hallelujah. We need that living water, church. We need that flow. We need that springing up. We need that living, running water that can run in the light lives of people that people you better believe we're in a parched land we're in a thirsty land we're in a dry place we gotta have the irrigation of the holy ghost it's time hallelujah how many know tonight uh, jeremiah said in chapter two of god's word he said my people have committed two evils he said one of them they departed from the fountains of the living waters and they hewed out cisterns that can hold no water but god god's gonna have a people that's gonna hold water god's gonna make water spouts god's gonna make us water buckets god god's gonna make us wells can somebody say amen we're springing water oh amen hallelujah let me know what's the truth tonight hallelujah jesus told that woman about that evening he told her about jacob's well what it could do he told her about that evening she could tap into it. Amen. She could dig into it. Amen. Come in overnight. God's got wills for us to be. It's time to dig again. Like Isaac done. It's time to dig again the well, brother. The living water. Hey man, the devil can't do that. The devil can't stop that. Hey man, he can't stop us from digging. He might come in on the way he stopped the whales up. His, hey, they wouldn't stop them whales up if Abraham had been alive. He slipped in there after Abraham, the, his father died. Hallelujah. Before Isaac them got down there to him, the Philistines slipped her in. Amen. They envied him. They jealous of him. They didn't want him to have nothing. You better believe that not the devil don't want you to receive nothing. The devil don't want you to inherit the kingdom of heaven. He'll try everything he can. He'll try to hold you back. He'll send in he'll send in fly foxes to fill up your wells. Hallelujah! But how many know tonight? God's gonna make watchmen out of us. 
God's going to have somebody to walk the wall. God's going to have somebody. Hallelujah. They will know when the thief coming. They going to know when the hireling comes in. They going to know when the enemy. Hallelujah. Come to do harm. Amen. How many believe it tonight? Oh, glory to God. How many know it's time tonight to be a good man? Amen. Don't dry up. Don't wither up. Amen. Don't perish your way. Just do like Isaac did. Go down there and be good. Let's be good. Thank God. God's got some water down there. There's water down there. Amen. It's down there. Ain't leaving the water. Man, my brother-in-law, when he moved up there, where I, not too far from where I live, he going to get out of here. He's going to get a drill well. I had a bowling well. He had a drill well. A drill well was a lot better well. In Georgia, I guess it is here in Mississippi, too. You know. But uh, he went over there, and he, gonna, he expected to pay about $4,000 to get one. Amen. They started over there drilling. The man been drilling wells in that county, that part of the country, for nearly 40 years. He got that all that drill going he went down about a hundred foot. Went through rock, brother Haney. Just he, I don't even think it might not even been a hundred foot. It ran a hundred, close to a hundred foot, and it like a bloated bit come out of ground. Hey man, hey man, my brother, he dropped my brother-in-law today. He's got water running. He, he, where his pipe comes up, he had to put a water hose and run it out, and it's running down a ditch. It's running out of the top of the ground. That's been seven years ago, and it's still running over right now. That well digger, he didn't charge him but 700 I think, six or $700. He said, man, that's the second time in my history I've ever hit an artesian vein to this amount. Praise God. He said, you'll never run out of water. He said, man, the ocean will dry up. Everything will dry up. He said, but you'll have water. He said, you got we got a good vein. Hallelujah. Have me know tonight it's, it's important to get a good vein. God's got good veins. Hallelujah. He got to get a good vein. When you get on that good vein, praise God, he'll know by the flow of the Holy Ghost, God has got wells of running over. Hallelujah. Somebody praise him tonight. Oh, glory to God. Amen. But it's time to dig again. How many are ready to dig again? Oh, that's what I have to do, Brother Henry. When the devil tries to stop me, I just move over. Mark me another spot. I say, look out there. I'm going to dig me another well. I ain't going to run dry. I ain't going to run out. Amen. It ain't no need for us to run out tonight. Hey Amen. Ain't no need to what it is. Folks don't want to dig no more. They don't want to dig no more. Hey Amen. It's work sometimes when you dig away. See, the Bible said the Philistines don't want to dig. Hallelujah. The Philistines. Come in there and fill them up, stop them up. Fill them up with the earth. I mean, no the world, the pleasures of this world. Fill up your way. Hello? I mean, no the, the lovers and the pleasures of this world. Stop up the wells of God. Woo! See, the earth represents the world. Jesus says, I'm not of this world. I'm from above. Amen. Hallelujah. I mean, oh, he was in the world, but he was not all the world. He said, if we are in the world, but we're not all the world when we in him. We can be in this world, dear brother, but we ain't got to be like the world. Amen. We ain't got to act like the world. We ain't got to partake like the world. Thank God. Hallelujah. And see, the world, you put dirt, you feel you put up a dirt in a well, it, it'll, it'll stop it up. It, it, you, you know, like I told somebody one time, I said, they talk about the gossiping and, 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 and talking and running the tongues. I said, yeah. I said, you, you put enough of dirt on an ant, he'll make a mountain out of it. <laughs> Same way with the well. That's what the devil's done. Hallelujah. We lost that. Called it. He wasn't going to accept his other jury. He said, when they run him off, 
over territory. He just moved right on down in the back of Giraffe. He said, I'm going to put my camp right here. It's as far as I'm going right here. I'm 